I guess I'm not that delicate. <laughs> I laid carpet and flooring for 30 years. I never, uh, you had, you, you were pretty brutal when you, when you were laying carpet and stuff. But anyhow, we'll see if this works like it is. And if it does right now, I can get, what is that? 35 eggs. Yeah, seven times five. I can do 35 at a time. So we'll see. Um, nothing else I can do. Um, so, all right, I'll be back. Well, I had to break it to fix it. Um, it's been running all night. Hadn't slipped off its little cog there. Um, so, I'm just going to go ahead and let it go with um, five of them. I'll try to fix the one I broke. <laughs> That's one right here. I'll try to fix it and get it hooked back up, but if I don't, well, so be it. Um, <coughs> but it definitely was causing a problem with that little thing down in there. I mean, it was sitting like, it used to sit like this, I mean, way out there. Now it's, now it's way in there. So, um... As soon as the guinea ends, I'll get another batch in. I'll be back. All right, well, hopefully the wind doesn't mess this video up. Um, or this section. Everything's doing good. This is a bunch of stuff that I just got transplanted. But Ohio weather, we're going to have three nights of blow freezing frost so all these guys I'm gonna take them back inside here but I just want to keep everybody alive um, I sort of got these screens protected from the chipmunks and the mice and anything else that wants to come out here and eat them working on getting the yard straightened out. I hate spring cleaning. I got a lot of it straightened up, but I gotta get gotta get rid of the old fridge and <coughs> water heater. Um, but spring's coming, so everything's gonna start growing, so I gotta get everything picked up. This front of the house is usually my catch-all. I usually don't clean it until springtime. Um, but anyhow, I'll be back. All right, well, here they are in all their glory. They're uh, they're getting quite big. Look like they got little tuxedos on. They got pretty much all their wings feathers on. Today's Wednesday, the 31st, so they're about 10 days old, and they can just about fly out of the box. But Ohio weather isn't cooperating. It's going to get down to 27 tonight, 22 tomorrow night. 27 the next night so we're gonna have to keep them wrangled for three more days it's just too hard uh -huh. to keep the little guys warm outside um, right now they just they go through a cleaning a day they just muck it up in a heartbeat don't you say hi You're going to smash the little one if you don't get it off of her. She's in the corner there. Huh? <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, they're too funny. Too funny doing their little scratching. Brand new cloth. That cloth has uh, clay on it. I also use those to when I um, dig clay and make clay balls, make so I, could, I use them to make bonsai pots. But I got clay on my property, so I I just fill those up and let them hang with clay and all the water drains out. But anyhow, that's something I'll do later in the summer. That's why you see dirt on those on those shirts. 
not really dirt, it's just clay. But anyhow, just thought I'd see it. Show you everybody before they're not cute no more. Because <laughs> they start hitting the adolescent stage, the little roosters turn into terrors. All right, well, we got a, a guinea hen hatched, a guinea fowl hatched this morning. Um, I can't put it with the uh, with these guys. I Man, these guys can make a mess. I I do this. I can't take them outside because it's too cold. I, maybe I can take them out tomorrow afternoon and get them set up. <laughs> but it's going to be 22 degrees here tonight, so they're they're about to fly out of the box. And the box is not big enough for him. They're just, see that one right there looking at us? He's getting ready to fly at the, they'll be up here sitting on top of the feeder here before you know it. They need a bigger space. But yeah, I just wanted to show you the little guinea hen. I got six, five more eggs in there. And I hope that, uh, um, it'll, uh, um, one, uh, you know, I hope it gets a buddy. Um, I don't know. I, I guess it's okay. I don't know. Its feet are a little weird. Um, I've never fiddled with one of these things before. Um, I think I got another one in there, Pippin. Um, for some reason, he likes the he likes the uh, uh, thermometer. <laughs> I don't know. Food's behind him. I got a water for him, but it's going to take up most of the space in there. Um, but as soon as these guys are out, I'll switch everybody over. All right? Huh? I don't know. He likes that thermostat. Huh? All right. Well, I'll be back if we get any more. All right. Well. A little guinea hen has a splayed leg. Her right leg will kick out to the side and front. And they say with guinea, guineas, the shell's so hard, it's really tough for them to get out sometimes. Well, there's a way you can fix splayed legs if you wire their legs together in the first day, in the first 24 hours. She was born this morning. Um, well, she wasn't born last night. So... I don't know if you've ever tried to wire a chick's legs together before, but <laughs> holy goodness, it's very tough. Um, so I'm forcing her leg. You probably can't see it, but it's on the it's 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 her right side, but it's the left hand. If you're looking down at it right now, it's on the left side. It's her right side, or his right side. Um, right now. She's going to have trouble walking, but she should be able to hop. But it, it's full. The, the wire tie, I used a bread tie because that's all I had. Um, this is a, a latch, you know, latch dis, ditch effort. Otherwise, she's going to go in the Ziploc bag, and I really don't want to do that. But I'm, I'm looking at her feet right now, and they're both underneath her. And it's forcing her. To keep that right leg underneath her which will make which will correct the problem and make it stronger in other words she's not favoring it anymore by kicking it out um, so all we can do she's got food she's got heat and there is water in there um, so all we can do is leave it on i just got to make sure i didn't get it too tight i'm pretty sure i didn't um, and we'll see. Hopefully we can get that foot. I can see the foot right now. And it's staying underneath her. She's putting weight on it like she's supposed to. Um, might be uncomfortable for her. But I guess the Ziploc bag would be more uncomfortable. I mean you can see right now. Both of her feet are underneath her. Um, poor thing might feel a little locked down. But... Um, I guess that's uh, better than the Ziploc challenge. But I'll keep you updated on her progress. And it's April 1st. 
and man talk about it. it's cold and windy these guys are overgrown and you just poop all over everything 